day 478. So today was a hiking day. Um, got up, got out, um, supposed to rain, and it did drizzle on me a little bit and kind of disconcerting sometimes where it was like, it was sunny and drizzling, and then there were other times where like I could see the rain clouds in the pass, like in the distance, and you can hear it going on right now. Um, the rain decided to come now. Um, but like I could see in the distance, I could hear the thunder, I could he see the lightning, but like I was in the sun and it was hot and humid. And when the, you know, the clouds were over top of me, it was fine. Um, I mean, I was still exhausted. Um, and you know, when your body's running at a deficit of salt and sugar, trying to do those types of activities just takes an extra push and takes an extra effort. And originally going into it, I was like, okay, maybe I'll, you know, switch up my hike this round. I'm glad I didn't because it would have probably meant me cutting the hike short and only doing like four miles instead of seven miles. Um, just as a reminder, I'm on day six of fasting. Um, so it, it's kind of interesting to, to experience, but like, it makes complete sense, right? Like I'm starting to get into those months where it's hot period. Um, and so when I go out and I go hiking, I'm in I'm sweating, right? And so it's not just about aerobic activity. It's also about um, losing, you know, salts and sugars and other things through your sweat, um, which you need to, to keep moving, right? And it, to keep your body regulated. And so, like, not only am I coming back tired, I'm also coming back with heat exhaustion in the 80s, right? And then 85s type weather. And, you know, even with this weather is humid. And so that, that really pushed me. And sometimes it was in the sun and sometimes it wasn't. Um, it's definitely better when it wasn't in the sun and I wasn't climbing hills. Um, but, you know, it's, it's adding an extra factor that I'm going to have to start factoring into my hikes, specifically when I'm fasting. Um, I mean, there, and there is a huge difference when I can, you know, eat food and replenish those, you know, salts and sugars that, and other minerals and things that normally you expel in your sweat to help keep you regulated. And if I'm just not expelling enough, right, then I can't regulate my own heat and therefore I can't push through. I had to stop multiple times when I wouldn't normally um, on a hike that has become maybe not easy, but, you know, it's not hard. Um, and normally I don't have to do any stops on this one and I stop several times. So it just goes to show that, like, you you really do have to take in all the elements when you're considering, you know, fasting and exercise, because if you don't, you could end up in a lot worse place. I mean, I had water, I was drinking a lot, and I stopped multiple times. I made sure that my only response was to, to me, like, okay, I want to cut this short or whatever. Um, was I'm going to finish this and I have all day. Um, this is the only thing on my list that I have to do. So I'm going to get done. But it was hard to do and it took a lot out of me. And tomorrow I'm going on another hike. Although with the rain that is pouring down right now, the temperature should drop. Um, and then Tuesday I'm planning on another bike ride. So we'll see how the, this heat starts mixing into my trips and we'll see where I go from there.